for a fight or something When I look in your I turn around It's me, Robert Pointer, and I. Oh, I should probably take my ears right now. Am I screaming? Yes, you can be listening to music this whole time. We walked to the shops 20 minutes each way, and the whole time. Look, you're glowing. Sorry. Talking to him, dickhead. Hey guys, it's me, Rob Point, and I'm back with another video. Today, I am here with Paris. Like, when am I not here with Paris? <laughs> hi, Paris. Say hi. Hi. And today, we decided to take a blast to the past. Ew. And rude. We have two whole bags. Well, that one's empty. We are going to be eating food that we were obsessed with in our childhood. Also, we are at this was our literal house when we were young. This is the bus stop to our primary school. Okay, first up, we got a Dixie Cup by Peter's Ice Cream. These things. Every child in Australia would have eaten these. A Dixie Cup. I can taste the preservatives. It's not as good as I remember it. No, it's not. It looks like cream. Like it tastes like cream. We're gonna share some experiences from our childhood that are really funny. Mm -hmm. Really dumb. Really dumb. In year three, Mrs. Cullen wouldn't let me go to the bathroom, so I peed myself in class. Did you really? Mm hmm. I was not to. I was so savage. So there was one teacher that my friend had. Her teacher got out a sleeping bag in front of the whole class and just took a nap. She did. The teacher! I love that. We used to have talent shows at our primary school. I feel like every school has talent shows. Just the primary school ones were iconic. Iconic. We have a friend that um, was in the talent show and she loved Justin Bieber. And traumatic experience for her, she did a dance. Did she sing or did she do a dance? She just danced. She danced with a Justin Bieber shirt on to baby. She got booed off the stage by the whole school. Oh, this she wasn't was year off. six. This was year like three. Okay, this was year three. <laughs> That's so traumatic. Anyway. That is traumatic. Next thing we're gonna try, chickadees. Oh, chickadees. I don't even these, these. Anyone who is our friend who's watching this, if this was the shit. Is there a bubbler here? By the way, bubbler translates to drinking fountain. Oh, Aussie slang. slang. Oh, bubbler. Oh, I remember what they are. Now. Ew, they don't look good. I thought there was something different. And then... So did I, I thought they were. Ew, what? I thought they were I the little remember. chicken drumsticks. Oh, I remember. Yeah, same. This is what I never liked. They look like this. Ew. That's not that bad. It's not terrible. I didn't think it. I thought it was good. Yeah, I could actually even like eat these. Chickadees are good. <laughs> these? Sorry. These. With the sh this heaven. What the hell is that? Oh. I, th I just looked at the yellow part. It looks like <laughs> actual vomit. Bro. Oh, look at all the sugar that just came off it. Three, two, one. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Mm, yeah. So, we had this thing called Pickle Town. Mm, my God. Pickle Town was the top oval and it was like, it was like a town. There were policemen, there were shopkeepers. We were so creative. Like different things costed more. So like maybe a rock costed like two gum nuts and some clay costed that like five. That was expensive. That was really expensive. Like a really pretty stone, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know. And the thing is, is that was itchy. Like there were no like gates or anything. You couldn't close up shop, you know, because it's a bush. It's a bush. It's a bush. <laughs> People would try hide their gum nuts as best they could. They'd make a little burrow. Then the robbers would come in and steal everything. They would steal your hard earnings, your hard work. And then we had cops. We had the police, and the yes. police would catch the robbers. And there was a police station that had a jail. And when you catch the robbers, they had to stay in the jail at every lunchtime until they got bailed out. Holy shit! Do you remember yes. that? Yes. There was never like we like no one ever like there was never like we never. No. <laughs> it felt real. It felt really real. It felt really good. And this was the candy bar of my childhood. Chocolate bar. We're Australian. G'day. This video is sponsored by Nestle. <laughs> Oh yeah, when you first bite into it, you get a really strong rice grips taste. 
Rice Krispies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Story time. So when I was a kid and I had nothing to do, I asked my mum for some money, like a lot of money, like two dollars. Whoa. And I would plan to go and get some candy. My favorite candy thing is I would literally walk 20 minutes there and then 20 minutes back for were these zombie chews that were like 30 cents. Hidden it in vlog mode. What's up? Quick heads up. This next part is really bad quality because I had my phone facing like back way like this. So I couldn't see what I was filming because if I filmed it this way, the microphone doesn't work. And yeah, it was out of focus the whole time. The glare was intense and it's just shit. But we're gonna stick through it together, guys, okay? Let's just get through the hard times. We don't know if you can see us right now because we're using my phone's back camera because the front camera doesn't work. But my camera just died. Next is this fabulous raspberry twister. The first time I ever had this, I didn't like it, but then it grew on me and then I became obsessed with it. So. The first time I had it, I was like, ew. Because it's kind of like licorice. This? And now it's like red licorice. You know? Like red licorice. Yeah, no. <laughs> don't put that in the video. I put it in the video. Fight me. Flame is good. Oh look, there's a penguin. I mean, it's a kookaburra. It's a kookaburra. I haven't seen a kookaburra in so long. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush that he love. Kookaburra love. Kookaburra. Got push pops. Push pops. You take the plastic off. Look. It's not as fun. Oh, mine's got a color. It's got a pattern. Mmm. Mm. Okay, while we're eating this, we need to finish our story times. So, that was my story. I love that. When I was really young, I woke up and then there was just like this little girl in my closet and that happened twice. So it wasn't just like, oh, I'm hallucinating. Man, I rubbed my eyes and stared at this girl for a good three minutes. She didn't go away. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed it, because then we really appreciate it. Don't forget to tell me down below what you want to see next on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see Never you guys. Again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And then we run. Bye. Bye.